I'm standing outside of Osgood Hall at Queen Street and University Avenue. And you'd almost never believe that from within these hallowed halls, some form of complete lunacy could come. But it has, as we found out when we met Bora and the Supremes today. The Osgood area of Toronto is home to the prestigious elements of Ontario's judicial system. And right in the very heart of it, we found four wackos whose hobby is to make fun of their craft. Bora and the Supremes are four relatively new lawyers. Mel Crystal, Alan Edgar, Ted Mann and Eric Sloan, who have a taste for a bit of the bizarre. Following up their pursuits, they formed a singing quartet, which they use as a vehicle for their tongue-in-cheek parodies of the judicial system. Way back when we were young, and criminals were hung, our job was so much simpler then. How did you come up with the idea for Bora and the Supremes? Well, I, I used to sing some barbershop quartet music, and I got together with Al at a drunken law school party in first year. We, we sang two parts of a barbershop quartet, and then we had Ted join us. Then Eric joined us, and we all we did at the beginning was barbershop quartet music. Eric was a fan of 50s rock and roll music. He put it together as Born the Supremes. Values are clouded now, courtrooms are crowded now, and no one gives a good goddamn. Mel, what do you plan to do with Bora and the Supremes? Go into the clubs, uh, play some gigs somewhere? Well, actually, we're waiting for it to be called to the bench, and then when we're actually in Ottawa, we thought that we would just sing our decisions. Bora and the Supremes, not your average lawyers or your average entertainers. 